I think it's fair to say we're all pretty pissed off that Amazon's nonchalantly disregarding Tolkien's writings and are changing tons of his work around, and like so many of you, I love all of Tolkien's work and I want anything about his writings to be good, whether they're movies or TV shows or video games. And with the Rings of Power, it hasn't seemed like we were going to get high-end, perfect Tolkien content, and unfortunately, the bad news doesn't just stop there with this one series because Amazon now has a bit of a Tolkien monopoly. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or supporting the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description and of course I do really appreciate all of the support. So starting with this Inside the Magic article, it says Amazon reportedly monopolizing Lord of the Rings, Tolkien fans devastated. I remember last year when I heard about this news, I was very disappointed. I did talk about it a few times, but unfortunately, it's coming back up again because this deal has finalized. It says Middle Earth is expanding with Amazon's Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power this September, but fans are up in arms over how much of J.R.R. Tolkien's work, Amazon now owns. I love Middle Earth. I love his creations. I wanted the rings of power to be good, but the more we've heard and the more we've seen, the less interested I've become. It says, Amazon, the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, is debuting later this year, but the conglomerate just acquired the rights to The Hobbit and more of Middle-earth, going against one of J.R.R. Tolkien's standards when protecting his stories. The world of author Tolkien and his Middle-earth with Mount Doom, The Shire, and Sauron is one of the most beloved novels and film franchises in history, with director Peter Jackson's The Lord of the Rings trilogy being regarded as one of the greatest sagas of all time, and in my opinion, it really is. There is so much to love about these movies. He did so much right in these films. It's hard not to appreciate them and re-watch them and have so many feelings of joy and happiness with them. Not many fans were enthused when Amazon announced that they would be carrying the Tolkien torch following Peter Jackson's, uh, Rings and Hobbit franchise. In fact, upon unveiling new and original characters, many fans expressed their disappointment in Amazon and more, claiming that the studio will undermine Tolkien's legacy. This is ridiculous, in my opinion, to take a Tolkien story and to put non-Tolkien characters in it, especially when you've got writers and actors saying, yeah, Tolkien's work is pretty good, but there are so many new changes we can make for modern audiences. I hate that. If you are going to take his work that so many people love, respect it and do the best you can with it. It says, nonetheless, Amazon just altered the future of Middle-earth after acquiring the entire film and media rights to The Hobbit, leading many to claim that Amazon is turning the Ring series franchise and the legacy of Tolkien into a monopoly, and at this point, it really does look like a monopoly. Now, last year, we had heard that Amazon had purchased MGM. We didn't know if this deal was going to go through. Of course, everyone assumed that it was, but following the acquisition of MGM, GM Studios, Amazon Studios, and more gained complete creative control over the film rights of The Hobbit and more Middle Earth, opening the door for future Hobbit spin-offs and more. I had talked about this in a live stream, but as soon as I read this, I think that everybody in my audience cringed, visibly cringed, talking about Hobbit spin-offs. This is the worst nightmare that we could be sitting through with all of his work, is hearing about how they're going to capitalize on this. All of the merchandise they're going to make, all of the different spin-offs they're going to make, all of these new shows and movies we're going to see because while The Rings of Power is greenlit for a couple of seasons, now they can do so many more spin-offs. 
It says, much like the Walt Disney Company acquiring the last bit of Marvel IPs with the purchase of 20th Century Fox, Amazon has gained near complete control over all of the Lord of the Rings media that fans enjoy today, instilling fear that streaming rights to the Rings trilogy and the Hobbit trilogy, directed by Peter Jackson, could change or disappear altogether. And this was a tweet that was put out by the One Ring.net, and I do not like the One Ring.net, but it says Amazon. Amazon bought the entire MGM kitten caboodle, including Hobbit distribution rights. Stay tuned, maybe we'll hear more information in the future, but it's as Tolkien's estate long battled with New Line Cinema, Miramax, Disney, uh, director Peter Jackson, and Warner Brothers, ultimately resulting in Jackson reportedly being barred from creating any more live-action films of his Rings and Hobbit trilogies, which was uh, an unfortunate rumor to hear. We never got confirmation on this or anything, but it was unfortunate to hear because he did do a good job, in my opinion, and most fans' opinions, but this was an article from a couple of months ago. It says Tolkien torched a Lord of the Rings film treatment for being treated carelessly, recklessly, and showing no evident sides of any appreciation of what it is all about. And this is what Tolkien fans need to remember is that he, when he was still alive, was against things like this. He wanted only people to work with the creations he made that actually cared about it. And this is something that we're not seeing with Amazon. We are seeing a complete disregard for his work, for the source material. While yes, they're following some general details and they're throwing in names of characters that people already know and love, it's not like they actually appreciate what his work is all about. Towards the beginning of the letter, Tolkien preemptively apologizes for his tone used in his commentary on the film treatment. He wrote, if and or others do so, they may be irritated or uh, aggravated by the tone of many of my criticisms. If so, I am sorry, though not surprised. He went on to explain the apology, but I would ask them to make an effort of imagination sufficient to understand the irritation of an author who finds increasingly as he proceeds his work treated as it would seem carelessly in general, in places recklessly, and with no evident signs of any appreciation of what it is all about. Next, he makes it very clear that canon should be respected no matter what the medium is. He said the canons of narrative in any medium cannot be wholly different, and the failure of poor films is often precisely an exaggeration and in the intrusion of unwarranted matter owing to not perceiving where the core of the original lies. He also took issue with Zimmerman reducing the story to a series of fights. He has cut the parts of the story upon which its characteristics and peculiar tone principally depends, showing a preference for fights, and he has made no serious attempt to represent the heart of the tale adequately, the journey of the ring bearers. And with Amazon, we're seeing something very similar. While, yes, it's Middle Earth and they're taking some of the general setting and they're taking some characters they know people are going to like, they're creating new characters, they're creating new storylines, they're not following all of the source material that they have at their disposal. And unfortunately, I don't think the Rings of Power is going to be good. I was excited for it initially, but I'm very worried about it at this point, especially after watching what Amazon did with the Wheel of of time they completely screwed up that series and i still want the rings of power to come out and be good because I, I don't want them to screw up lord of the rings but at the same time they have this giant monopoly now and i don't think that they're going to make any tolkien content that actually does tolkien justice but that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.